Typically, sports garments are made of polyester, a man-made fiber which ensures elasticity. But producing polyester is environmentally hazardous. It consumes huge quantities of water, chemicals, and fossil fuels as well as its residues. Moreover, its byproducts are toxic. The garments made out of recycled plastic, on the other hand, reduce carbon emissions by over 54%, energy consumption by 50%. They also save 27 liters of water per piece and perform better than 100% virgin polyester. Every single plastic bottle takes at least up to 1,000 years to decompose and every minute millions of plastic bottles and materials are bought around the world. Only 7% of those collected were turned into new bottles and the rest of it harmfully affecting our ecology and environment. Imagine a process that gives a second life to a material that's not biodegradable and that could be used by Messi or Ronaldo in a football match. We can turn these bottles into sportswear. In this video, we will explain how we can reuse this wastage to your favorite player's jersey. The huge amounts of unused plastic bottles are collected and sent to a recycling plant, where work starts with cleaning and washing of bottles. Dirt and dust are taken off. After that, these bottles are cleaned at approximately 90 degrees centigrade hot, caustic and detergent water followed by separation process of PVC and other such polymers and metal which are not used in fiber making. And these are sent to grinder section. This grinder machine cut and converts all bottles into 14 mm flex. Now flex undergoes crystallization and drying process to ensure that no moisture in the flex. The resulting flakes are then melted to create a honey-like substance, which is extruded through spinning it to create fibers. The fiber is then transferred to winding machine and produce a sliver that looks like noodles. Then the sliver are taken to the skrill stage. The skrill is the first stage of drying section. Into the roller of drying machine, the slivers are drafted in several steps by using chemicals like lubricant and titanium dioxide. Then we get 1.4 denier primary fibers. This primary fiber automatically runs into the dryer to get moisture-free smooth fiber. Moisture-free primary fiber automatically transferred to the cutting machine and cut it into desired length as per requirement of the buyer. After cutting, we get the moisture-free smooth polyester staple fibers. Through the several spinning process, the fiber is twisted and onded onto a spool. The spools of polyester are sent to fabric manufacturing units. Here, hundred to thousand of those spools of yarn are woven together on a loom or knitting machine to create balls of fabric. Finally, the completed polyester fabric can be bleached, dyed, cut, and sewn into the desired garments. <laughs> 